Hey, what is up guys, welcome to the Bergmano Ross Wi-Fi Battle. Before this video does start, please drop a like below, and if you are new, subscribe. We are literally almost 10 subscribers away from another shiny Pokemon slash legendary Pokemon giveaway. Um, so if you do want to be into that and get that closer um, to being held, uh, please subscribe if you are new. Um, I literally only had the last one like about a month or two ago. You guys are completely blowing the shit out of that subscribe button. I'm telling you guys right, right now, I really appreciate it. But um, we got a battle against Flower this week. It's actually a opponent from Facebook. She actually said she was going to not bring a Primal Kyogre. You guys can see in the middle or the end of the match if you say that far if she does or not. But uh, we got a new team this week. A Modest Choice Specs Magnezone with Analytic Ability. Mega Galad. Max HP, Max Special Attack, Gastrodon, which is kind of special defensive. Wall on this team too. Choice Scarf, Ditto, aka Smooth Poser. Um, <laughs> If you guys get that reference, tell me in the comments below. But um and we got uh Talon Flame, which is actually Citrus Berry. Uh I actually do not run filler blitz on that either. That comes bites me in the ass a lot of times too. I'll tell you guys about that in the middle of the battle, but any defensive wheezing. Um she has some Ubers on her team. I didn't really give a shit though, because I just want to test this team out. I haven't had much time to test this team out lately. It won so far about seventy five percent of the battles, but a lot of battles um it kinda gets kinda out here and the rocks really hurt it because there's no way to get rid of rocks in this team either. Which is a flaw a lot of most of my teams because I don't have any spinners, but I'm gonna leave with Mangazone. Mangazone. She's actually gonna leave with Aurorus. Um, it's surprisingly it's not a Snow Warning Aur Aurorus, so I'm assuming it was Refrigerate. Um, I'm gonna lock myself into Flash Cannon because it does a lot of work to her team. Four times effective on the Aurorus. I outspeed, so plus it's actually uh, a m analytic boosted choice specs modest. Um, whatever move I lock myself into, so that means after if I go after the opponent, it gets boosted by 1.5 times even more, so very nice to run choice specs with this Magnezone, even though it's not Magnet Pool, which can lock in Skarmories and Ferrothorns and shit, but a choi uh, choice specs uh, flash cannon is going to take this thing out in one hit. She actually predicted a switch possibly into something different. I don't really know what she was expecting me to go into. I'm assuming maybe the... I don't even know what she was going to expect me to go into, but maybe the Gastrodon, but then why would I switch Gastrodon on the Skeptile, but um, she goes for the Leaf Storm, and then she's going to go to Raikou here. Actually, brings me a switch again, and she actually sets up the Reflect. Um, she's going to go for the Crunch here, so it's probably a mixed Raikou, I'm assuming. Not very common, yet it's still around sometimes, I guess, but... Uh, two actually resisted... Flash is actually going to take that thing down, and Raikou actually has a decent special defense. I'm think, assuming it's actually one base 100. I think it's base 100 special defense on Raikou, and it still takes it down in two shots. It's so uh, very powerful Magnezone. I wanted to keep this thing around, so I actually switched out to Galad here. Really bad decision. I actually thought this thing was actually going to set up a calm mind. I want to get a super effective ice punch off and break the multi scale. I want a mega evolve, but she actually did predict a switch either into Galad or something else. Um, I'm assuming maybe. Uh, I don't really know what else I can go into. Maybe the wheezing. I'm not sure. But, um, Aerial Blast is going to take me out. I'm not sure if this thing was Choice Scarfed. Um, Illugia. I'm not sure of the base speed of Illugia or Gallade. Um, maybe it would outspeed me with, before I Mega Evolved. I'm not sure. So, assuming it's either Choice Scarfed or Leftovers, because it does still have the multi scale intact. But this actually gives me a free switch into Magnezone here. It was kind of a waste of the Gallade. I could have used it for the rest of the team, but. Minion Zone is still here, which matters. That's actually a crit aerial blast there too. And a Thunderbolt is even gonna take this thing out with a multi scale. That is so much power. Minion Zone is putting in so much work in this battle, I can tell you guys right now. This thing is working its way up to MVP in this battle. I was just gonna go into Ente here, get the type advantage. Kinda sucks because I'm gonna have to let my Mega Zone go down to here. I do apologize today, I can't talk over this shit. I'm, I don't know don't know, but I'm hyper and shit. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to let Magnezone go down here. I go into Talonflame here because my Talonflame is actually not really too useful against her team. I just wanted to get much damage off as I could with the Talonflame before it went down. Uh, the Brave Bird is actually going to do over half to this thing. Very good damage. Assuming I'm actually, I actually think I'm adamant to max special attack. So I'm also Citrus Berry on this thing. I do not run Flare Blitz too, which kind of gets really, really walled by Ferrothorn and Scissor and uh for address and shit like that. Um, I do get rid of the wall. The only thing I can do with those, I actually carry, instead of Flare Blitz, I carry Will O Wisp on this Town Flame. It's more of a support Town Flame. It has Roost. I think it has Roost, Brave Bird, U Turn, and Will O Wisp. It's more of a support Town Flame. 
And right here, she actually said she was not going to bring a Primal Kyogre. What she do is she brings it anyways. So I have to end up dealing with the thing. But luckily, she had, cannot touch my gasters on. So, as you guys can see in a little bit here, I actually want to stay in and get as much damage off in this thing. Because my Flame is basically useless now. So I want to stay in and get as much damage off with this thing as possible. So I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird here. I do outspeed because of the Gale Wings priority. Puts it at plus one priority. So otherwise, I don't think I would outspeed this thing. Origin Pulse is going to take me out though, and somehow it lands, I don't know, it's, I think it's pretty sure it's base 85 accuracy, it still lands, I'm not quite sure how she keeps landing all these, but, now I'm going to go into Gastrodon, because I do have the Storm Drain, and I'm assuming she cannot touch me with the Mushash, I'm assuming, at the time, I was assuming she probably had Ice Beam, and probably, uh, some different stuff, but, the way she's actually playing right now, she actually has nothing to touch me, so, I'm assuming that she only has water moves and probably setup moves on this thing, or something like that. Um, she's going to keep going for Orange or Pulse. It's basically GG here, because she hasn't to touch me. So, I'm just going to go for Scald. It's in the rain. I actually happened to catch a burn here. 30% chance. Actually, it would be 60% chance now, since I used Scald twice. So, Burn is going to take this thing out, and that is GG. GG Flower. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like below and uh, subscribe if you are new. Um, we're gonna have that shiny Pokemon giveaway and shit coming up in a little bit, a little about a couple weeks here or something like that. Whenever we get hit 250 subscribers, so if you want to be around for that, subscribe. Um, also, I'm gonna try. You guys have been requesting a new top five video. The last top five I did was actually top top five most hated Pokemon to be battling against. I'm gonna try getting a new top five up either this week or next week. I am pretty busy this week and next week still. But I'm going to try at least fitting it in one of these weeks, so um, you guys be expecting that. Along with the Pac-Man World 2 Let's Play will be up this week. If you guys haven't checked that out, I do highly suggest checking that out. It's basically the series where we sit bullshit around while we play the game, so <laughs> very fun. If you guys want something fun to watch, uh, go check that out. There's a playlist on the channel and videos on the channel if you guys want to check that out. But um, that being said, I'm going to get the hell out of here. See you guys next time.